everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Alright, it's been a freakishly long time since the last episode, I'm sorry. Um, at first I was sick, and that lasted a while, and then I, I had a funeral to go to for my great-grandfather who recently passed. So, I'm sorry about no episodes last week, and no episode Friday two weeks ago. Um... But I'm going to do my very, very, very best to make these episodes really good for you guys. And I might, I, I'm, I'm going to do my best and try to include two extra videos this week. Uh, hopefully that can help and maybe it'll ease the pain of not having videos for a while. Um, but for today, we're going to get back on track with our 2D GUI game. So, I don't know if I had promised to do anything last week. If I did, I forgot all about it, um, but I have an idea of what we're going to do today. Alright, so when I've asked for requests about what this game is, the most popular request has been make it a, a where you go around and you shoot AIs. They're all around you and running around. Well, we're going to work on the shooting mechanism to shoot little projectile lasers. That's our first task for today. So... We've already got most of our physics down, but now we gotta work on that. So let's go to our starter GUI up here. 2D game, window, player script. So we've got all kinds of awesome stuff in here, but what we don't have is a, uh, what's, what's a good word for it? We don't have a shooting mechanism. So how can we add one? Well, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, in our first step, is going to make a new function right under function jump we'll make function oops function fire and in this function fire I actually will write to do fire laser uh, we'll we'll get back to that in a minute minuto uno momento okay or un momento, whatever it is. I don't really care. I'm not fluent in Spanish. Alright. So, now, we're going to, as you guys can see, we've got player.a.value to check for moving left, and player.d.value to check for moving right. What button, then, uh, should we use for jumping? Well, we're using, or not jumping, firing lasers. Well, we're using W to jump, uh, so... What if we use spacebar to fire lasers? Sound good to you guys? It sounds good to me. A um, little bit of an issue uh, when we that we will run into with this, uh, I think. I might be wrong. I don't remember exactly what we've done, uh, but I think we'll run into an issue here. But, but, it will be easy to fix. Now, what we're going to do is over here fire lasers let's put this after the jumping and just do check if um, if not firing and we'll go up top and make a new variable called firing and set it to false so if not firing if it's false then or oops if not firing and player dot space dot value then and I believe it's player yeah it's player like that with just a three letters and I forgot okay I updated Roblox Studio before I made this video give me one second again and I will fix the text size I just noticed it's a little small alright it is back up and working and now it's bigger hopefully you guys can see it well I can see it well and that's good um, one thing I just noticed, and I'm very happy about it, is the text doesn't wrap lines anymore. Thank you, Roblox took you long enough, in my opinion. Uh, I finally can just scroll through. But now let's get back to this. So if not firing, and player.space.value, space meaning spacebar, actually, we'll name that spacebar, because space sounds like physical space, uh, either outer space or just room around you. Uh, so we won't be using space. We'll use spacebar. So and player dot spacebar dot value then fire. That's all we have to do. 
Um, all right, back. Sorry, I, I, I quick break there. Um, okay, now up here, what we're going to do is we're going to type. We're going to keep the to do. We're going to put print. I'm a fire, firing, fire, fire. Uh, that's good enough. Firing my laser. All uh, what's it called? Shoop the whoopee. I don't even know if that's how it was spelled, but you don't get the point across. I'm a fire in my laser. Okay. So I'm a fire in my laser whenever it fires. So we'll do that, and then at the, now we can go test it, and I will show you guys the. Oh my goodness! I think I already saw this one, but this is awesome. Look at this. I love this. I it just it looks amazing. It really, really does. It does. Okay, there's our error already. Spacebar is not a valid member of player. I will highlight this so people can see it better. Spacebar is not a valid member of player. Let's go check that. Player, player one. You guys don't see spacebar in any of this, do you? No, no you don't. So how can we fix that? We'll go to local script first, but we also need to go to workspace script. Remember, this is where it's adding all of those keys. Right here are all the keys. Which brings me back to another point. Um, a good, awesome subscriber of mine, a good viewer, um, INHN, I think, yeah, I, He's known as 123 Christopher on Roblox. He was asking about this all added. What is all added? Um, I don't know if I explained it in a video or not. I think I did. But in case I didn't, all added is a variable which when we are running scripts that have to check to make sure that they, because they're using all these variables to check if the keys are pressed, they need to check if all added is in there because all added if it's tr if it's there then they're going to know oh okay it's safe to check these because these variables now exist otherwise we may check before these variables can be inserted into the player and that could be very very problematic as it would then basically crash uh, your script so we want that all added there and all it is is it's the last variable added and it just tells us, hey, variables are here. Go ahead and start checking for keyboard input. Um, but we do want to add another one in here. And we'll add spacebar. So spacebar, there we go. Okay. Fine. Right? Yeah. Cars. Cars. Um, that's done. So now we're going to be adding a spacebar value to the player. But there's um, another problem which I'm not going to test it to show you because I I don't want to waste your time that much but right now this function here it's never going to change the value of that spacebar it's going to have to check if the spacebar exists so if key uh, hold on I believe I'll be right back. I just got to look up the function. Haven't been scripting in a while. I am sorry. I promise I will be back to teach you guys this working script. All right, I'm back. This way should work. We'll have to check if um, key equals space, just two quotation marks and a space in between, then player dot space bar dot value equals true. And we'll change this down here to an else if. Sorry, I guess my voice isn't 100% again because I just had a coughing attack again. Um, we'll copy this though and paste it down here. Of course, changing it to false and this to else if. And now it will work out fine. Perfectly fine, I believe. Or at least it should. Uh, I did test it. Um ish sort of not really I didn't really test it I tested it in my mind because my mind's that amazing <laughs> all right it's loaded now and we will check if we press spacebar 
Look at the bottom there. I'm a firing, I'm a firing, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a firing my laser. It is working. Now, I'm going to show you guys what would happen if we, say, went to player GY here, 2D game, and made this window invisible. And I'm pressing space. It's still saying I'm a firing my laser, but we're jumping. How can we uh, fix that? To be honest, I have no clue. Uh, but that's a question I'm asking you guys. Some of my more advanced scripters, you might know what to do. How can we disable the jumping ability of the humanoid? Disable the sound of jumping? What can we do to do that? I'll look it up myself. Hopefully I'll find out by next tutorial. But if you guys got an answer, please comment below. It's great to learn myself along with you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Please hit one of them. It helps me so much in every way. Um, and I will catch you guys later.